and welcome to my channel Lady T's Things That Bling. Today I'm going to be making or uh, showing you a set part of it I already made but I'm going to be showing you how I make a mug for the men. Yes men should get Valentine's Day love too. So as you see here I'm applying Mod Podge a very generous amount of Mod Podge to the beer mug. Now this I call them beer mugs um, and I get these from the Dollar Tree Yes, this big, heavy piece of glass is only a dollar. And when I tell you it is heavy, it is heavy. That was actually hurting my arm while I was trying to do this video. But um, as you can see, I'm just putting a lot of Mod Podge on there along with some green glitter. Now, I was selling these mugs at one time, especially during the year that the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I couldn't keep these on the shelf. They were flying off because they won the Super Bowl. It actually started when they won um, the division, when they became division champions. You know, everybody was like, oh, I want one of those mugs. So it was, you know, and I haven't done them. haven't done a mug, I think, in over a year. So I'm just showing you my proce process of how I used to do my mugs. Now, again, this mug is heavy. Um, so you got to be very careful trying to do this and holding it up. And my desk is glass, so if you um wondering why I'm talking about it being heavy so much, is because if it drops on my glass desk, I'm going to have a whole problem. <laughs> now what I'm doing is I'm going back over the green glitter, because if I look inside the cup on the inside, I can see what spots that I have missed. So I'm just going over it again, because I would not want anybody to receive a cup that or a glass that was missing some glitter I got that glitter from I believe I got it from Walmart I'm not sure it was either from Walmart or Michaels I don't remember and on this uh, glass this mug um, I usually don't do the handle, so I'm just leaving the handle there. But for real, for real, you, this is a keepsake mug. It's not really for um, your man, your boyfriend, your husband, your significant other, your uncle, your daddy, your brother. <laughs> it's not really for them to drink out of, um, but it is like a keepsake. Something they can sit on the shelf and look at and be like, oh, wow, my baby got me this for Valentine's Day. Yes. So you don't really see men getting Valentine's gifts. So I figured I'll make a basket for the men. Um, that's my husband on the phone right there. He wanted to talk to me while I was uh, doing this video. So. Now, ooh. now I'm putting more Mod Podge on because I could see some more spots that needed to be. Uh, filled in and this is also sealing the uh, glitter on to the glass so that the person who's receiving this will not have glitter all over them who likes glitter all over them I tell you when I do these crafts I get up and I have so much glitter on me it is ridiculous and even in the shower sometimes it just doesn't want to come off off. But that's too much information. <laughs> so now I finished the second coat of Mod Podge on there. And as you can see, I have some bling wrap. Now that was four rows of bling a bling wrap that I'm bling wrap that I'm going to apply to this glass. And I'm just waiting for the hot glue gun to kick in. And right here, I'm just trying to get the handle done 
so it won't be so much um, glitter on the handles where it's not supposed to be. And of course, you see my trusty aide and friend Rhonda sitting over there. She says she didn't want to put her face in the video today, but if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna see it anyway. So here I am. I'm putting. I'm wiping off the glitter from the handle, and some of it is stubborn, so I had to use my Exacto knife, and I used some alcohol to wipe the rest of it. I don't know why I didn't cut this part out, but um, <laughs> I guess I'm tired. So some people might say, why would you bling out a glass or a beer mug for a man? Well, number one, when I first started doing these, I really didn't think that they were going... <laughs> we're funny. And when I first started doing these, I didn't think a man would actually like um, a blinged out mug. But when I promise you, I'll tell you, they love them. Women were buying these for their significant others. Um, men that love sports were just buying them, I promise you. And I was looking at um, Rhonda's brother. Rhonda was um, showing me some pictures of her one of her brother-in-law's um who recently lost their dog. And she was showing me a picture of the dog that was on the um, bed. He was looking all cute and everything. And in the background, I saw the mug that I made for him, for her brother-in-law. I was so proud. I was like, oh, look at my creation sitting in his room. So, yes, of course, he uses his as a keepsake because you really can't drink anything out of these mugs unless you use a straw. And then it would be very hard to wash them unless you just take a dish rag and go inside of it real quickly without getting all the other stuff wet. I would strongly advise anyone who wants one of these mugs or tries to do one of these mugs to let your customers know that these mugs are really for keepsakes. Now, I have done mugs where people can drink out of them, but I figured that since this was Valentine's Day, then we'll make a gift for it you know, the sports lover, it could be male or female, whoever you give it to, um, that they will be able to enjoy it for years to come. So as you can see here, I'm sticking on my Eagles stickers that I got from um, a sports store here in Philadelphia that sells uh, all kind of sports teams merchandise. This one happens to be the Eagles, and they are licensed to sell Eagles products. I know that on some videos, people use things, and you hear other people say, don't use that because of copyright, this, that, and the other. But this was at a um, store here in Philadelphia where they sell um, the merchandise of this team, the Eagles, as well as other teams, and they are licensed to do so. So, and I would advise you, if you're using hot glue, to please use some of those pink things the dollar store sells for your fingers so you won't burn your fingers and I, I have some. I just never use them. Yeah. So it's looking good so far, right? Yes. So I added these two other strips of um, bling wrap. That I got this from Totally Dazzled. No, I'm not being sponsored by them. But I'm just letting you know in case you want some um, silver bling like this. I got it from Totally Dazzled. And so that's four rows of um, bling. Since the top and the bottom was four rows of bling, I decided that this had to be four rows of bling. And I don't particularly like using glue on the Eagle stickers, but nothing else that I tried really makes them stick. So I just did that. Now this could be fine like it is, but I decided to put some green and wrote gems on to the eagle. And I got these rhinestones from 
I think it was from the 99 cent store, 99 and up store, somewhere in downtown Philadelphia. And I got these a couple of years ago, but they came in handy today. And Rhonda left me because it was time for her to go home. But if it's the Lord's will, she'll be back tomorrow and we'll be back up to our shenanigans again. And if you decide to um, duplicate this, I would love to see how yours turned out. I think mine are gorgeous, but there's people that can do these things better than me, I'm sure. i just never seen anybody else do them. But here we go. Lady T. Things that bling. Got to be blingy. <laughs> All right. And you see there I have the uh, mug. I have the tray. And I have the cigarette, um, the ashtray. Ash ashtray is optional. All right, guys. Please subscribe, like, share, and leave me a comment. This is Lady T signing out. Thank you again for watching. Bye.